Good morning, everybody. I'm here at the Meadville Area Recreation Complex on the complex, and this is the Mark Garden. We are here. We're going to check out what's going on. Uh, this would be about, I can't remember how many grow season. We're looking at four or five. This is a beautiful place, family oriented. They have done an awful lot of work in the past few years. So we're here with Laura, and she is the garden director. And these are plots that people rent. Uh, so you would rent these per, per uh, season. They have some raised beds for, uh, for folks that need that type of uh, accommodation. So we have a real beautiful area. And uh, what do you think these are? Mini greens? They might have came through here. Yeah. I will say there's a flying pig. So that's probably one of the coolest features at this garden. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm in between two uh, pretty cool people. Do you guys want to say maybe, well, you know, I'm who Elise. you are? <laughs> I'm Laura. I'm the Mark Community Garden Coordinator. Just newly started three, this is my third week, I think. I think job. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm Lee Scandanero. You're watching MeadowCalendar.com. Maybe Dan said that already. I don't know. We were engaged in a conversation <laughs> about crop planting, so I can't exactly remember. I was like balling the strawberry. So maybe we can check some stuff out here because we're yeah. at the mark right now. So on the, well, our, our right, um, basically this entire side over here, these are all private beds that individuals, they purchase and they also might have um, some volunteering as well to go with that, but they can plant just about anything they want in them that's legal. And um, so we have a lot of cool things. Some people have some hot peppers, there's some flowers going in, there's some beautiful strawberries in one of the beds. Um, additionally, along the fence line, if you do stop out to the mark, there are um, community strawberries along there that are pretty ripe. And then basically everything, if you're walking up towards the left um, of the pathway, are all sh um, community or um, shared spaces. So we have lots of mints um, where Dan's standing, along with Lake Mark over here. <laughs> Um, so just a variety of herbs like comfrey, there's some mints in there, um, lavender, which I'm allergic to, um, some chives. <laughs> I found that last week when I was reading. Uh, we have some hot peppers um, over by the bicycles. Those are some lettuces. Um, then we have our hoop house and also some planted beds along the far edge of the fence. Um, and as you can tell, it's kind of flooded here. We have some water issues. So we'll see how things grow. So ultimately, who's going to benefit from all of the herbs and vegetables that you're growing? Um, any, basically anyone in Meadville who wants food can come down here and you're more than welcome to cut anything in the shared spaces. So like last weekend, um, last Thursday, I had a mama eight, no, six, mama six, a family of eight come down and she got like, um, probably about like $15, $20 worth of food. Bless you. <laughs> with um head lettuce and peas and stuff but additionally you know our gardeners here um they also can request or like make suggestions for plants um that they want to see grown or they want to utilize so um both ends so basically anyone who wants to come and have produce or you want to plant or you want to learn how to grow you can so what if i know absolutely nothing about gardening well, and i'd you. like to come and participate but i don't oh no that's that's what if i pick something that's not ready no, that is, um, typically we do have signs up just to give you an idea of what's, not, what's ready and what's not ready. Because I know different gardeners have different opinions, like peas, for example. I'm used to eating them pot and all, so they're ready for me. <laughs> but if you want the seeds, they're not. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, we do hold like weekly activities or workshops that are guided. Okay. And definitely, um, if you call me or email me and you want to come and like learn how to grow, I'll be more than happy to come down or even forward you with another gardener too depending on how time um how time works there's a lot of gardeners here seems like yeah it's uh, beautiful yep a full crew there's a full lot. so there's uh, 35 shared beds or private beds um and within those usually one to two um people might be gardening in them but then it also supports like different amounts of households so we have those and then we also have friends of the garden so people who maybe aren't renting beds but like you said kind of might be interested in planting um, can also come down so it's kind of we're trying to keep track of how many people are actually using the mark but it's definitely more than um, 
more than the 35 and definitely more than even just the friends because there's people when I'm waiting they're walking through touching things eating things so it's kind of nice. I noticed uh, the gate up there it said if it's open come on in is it always open? So <laughs> as of now <laughs> um, my opinion is it's always going to be open because it's a community garden it's a shared space um, everyone's welcome in the past there have been issues with food theft so please don't take from the private beds um, if that becomes an issue again, we might have to close it. The only times I've ever closed them is I have a 16 month old daughter and she likes to run and she <laughs> likes to wait in traffic. So um, they might be shut, but for the most part, you're welcome to come in. They Can shouldn't be locked. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a vegetable in here that you're just psyched about right now? <laughs> I like the peas and my daughter throws tantrums if she doesn't get her hands full of peas oh. after staff My meetings. socks are real wet. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you Probably like mm -hmm. yeah, you can just like eat them. I mean, I think they're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I think we uh, said, had some beautiful green beans. And where did the garlic scapes come from? They're right from the yeah, top there. They're the kind of curly hues. The tan peppers. Yeah, the scapes. Yes, yeah, so we have a big bowl of garlic scapes on our table right now. They actually they smell pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you can pickle them, you can eat them. We'll be harvesting that garlic probably within the next month. I Well, I don't know with this weather, but about a month. Um, other cool things, we have Swiss chard. Um, that's oh, over there with yeah. the red stems, really vibrant leaves. Yeah, Sounds good. like something you'd find on MasterChef. Or <laughs> yeah, you can eat the, the stems like celery. The leaves you can use like a salad. Um, you can roll them like with sushi. Um, you can also fry them like I greens. I like saute greens. Yeah, that's probably the most popular because they are a little bit better. Yeah. Um, lots of shard. We have eggplants that oh. hopefully under the hoop house will be going. Dude, Dan, that's all for you, buddy. Eggplants. We're going to have an eggplant fry I got here at the my Mark Garden. Right now. I'll make it for you, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. We're having eggplant for lunch at Lee's house. So. <laughs> Jesse makes eggplant parmesan. Yeah. Uh, What's that? No, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just with eggplant, sliced eggplant as a set of noodles. Which yeah. way sliced? Uh, depends on how big you Sorry, want your, You want them. You know. Jason's doing some gestures back there. <laughs> um, Funny story, when I was young, my dad owned a deli, and uh, a customer came in and I was helping him, and he asked me to quarter a pickle for him, and I actually cut it into four... Oh, four like, yeah, chunks. Yeah, four chunks <laughs> instead of four spears. Yeah. So the next time you guy was very Jason, gracious about it. Pickle. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, any last final words from any of us? Um, I guess we're going to hold like a lot of <laughs> different workshops and events coming through the season. Most of them are going to be on Mondays, but we also have some alternative Wednesday events. Um, I'm going to do one on like leaf printing with fabrics. Um, my husband Derek's gonna do one on equipment maintenance, so um, definitely keep an eye on our Facebook. I know there's page. yoga in the garden, right? Yes, there's what? gonna be yoga July 3rd, I believe, from 6 to 7 p.m. with um, Susan Lanigan. She's the Mercer County Master Gardener Coordinator. She'll be doing some yoga. So bring your mats, no experience necessary. <laughs> and of course, June 21st is the summer, uh, I'm sorry, is the uh, summer solstice party here in the garden it's also international make music day so we're gonna have beautiful musicians playing here we're gonna have a potluck we're gonna have other things probably <laughs> games I, yard games Hopefully friendships yard games. Yeah. <laughs> laura will be there i will also so will yeah. i so please still come even though lee's coming <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's maybe it we'll see you on the town and we're going to show you a quick video about the little free library